All right, you like the impression, so let's keep a couple going. Now, you don't even need to be a Philadelphia Philly fan to know who Harry Callis was, because he used to do uh, all the narration of NFL films, and he used to do, you make the call on Monday Night Football. Now, when he was the Phillies announcer, he was the best, especially when the Phillies sucked, because he had a whole different tone to his announcing. <laughs> I swear, I remember turning on the game once, and I hear, up to play third baseman, Scott Rowland. Swinging a lacing ball down the third base line, incoming to score the whole team, and the Phillies still fucking lose five to four. <laughs> Love Harry. All right. But we're in New York, so we got it. I guess we have to do uh, Bob Shepard, late great in stadium announcer for the Yankees. Now, uh, my first roommate when I moved to New York worked for the American League and he used to get me free tickets to all the Yankee games. And I started falling in love with Bob Shepard, you know, because he would say everything twice. I used to love it. Now batting, number two, shortstop, Derek Jeter. Number two. I was like, I love that. He says everything twice. This guy's great. Maybe I'll propose to my wife at a Yankee game and get him to do it, you know, because he would do a lot of these proposals. But then I thought about it. I was like, holy shit, you can't do that. I always have shitty seats when I go to Yankee games. That would kill the romance to hear, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd all look to the upper tier, behind the foul pole, in the obstructed view seat section. A young man is proposing to his girlfriend. Ooh, and she says no. She says no. 